I want to say that this has been very enjoyable. Um, this has been, this is our fourth week now. And from the beginning, I was looking forward to it for the children because um, they are doing virtually virtual schooling and they spend a lot of time up in their bedroom still. And for the last two years, they have kind of like learned to go into their little separate rooms and be by themselves. So we just see them on and off during the day and, and, and in the evening. But for the hour and a half, of the class, um, we've been able to be with them and see them um, do something productive. So I'm enjoying this class. My role in all this is, you know, prepping and, you know, getting the stuff like bowls, you know, and measuring cups, spoons and stuff. And after I clean up, it helps me get closer to my grandma and my sister and my mom. It helps me it helps me learn how to cook, and when there's nobody around to cook, I can cook for the family. Since the um, cooking class started, he has his chef hat and his bib that he cooks in, and so now he's become, a, I guess, the house cook. Um, pretty much I take care of him, and also my other two grandchildren I had when my daughter was murdered, I take care of them also. What I like about the cooking classes is, is that it gives, although he is mentally impaired, it gives him the opportunity to express himself for cooking. Even though I may ask him, what is it he's cooking? His response is, I don't know. He just like doing it and enjoying it. And also outside of the cooking class, he helps me in the kitchen. My favorite recipe so far it has been the um, hot tarts and the biscuits. Rolling the dough and um, putting the frosting on the um, Pop-Tarts. I just really like um, the dough that 